Welcome to Active Defender. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how an Active Defender user is able to report an emergency on their campus. Most of the time, when you are reporting an emergency, it could be something happening right where you are. But many times, it will be something you see at a distance. And so in order to report an emergency using Active Defender, you will first open the Active Defender app. And as you will see, it will auto log you back in to Active Defender as was described in a previous video. First, you will need to select the icon representing the emergency you're reporting. We will go over the different icons available at the end of this video. Select the fire icon if you saw a fire by tapping the icon at the bottom. You may need to zoom in or zoom out in order to select the location by tapping on the floor plan mapping of your campus. This pinpoints the exact location you witnessed the emergency. Then you will send fire alert and tap that icon in order to send the alert. If you need to change your alert location, you can tap change alert location and then reposition the pinpointed location of the emergency and then tap send fire alert. As you will see, you are able to notify all team members on your campus at one time while the pop-up for calling 911 is made available to you. You may both call or text 911 at this time for the emergency you're reporting. This ensures that everyone that needs to know can see what the problem is, where the problem is, so they have the needed information to make good decisions. The 911 pop-up will show automatically if a fire, natural disaster, or active shooter alert has been triggered. Think about what you have just accomplished. You have notified everyone on your campus, including emergency services, in less than 10 seconds. Once the emergency has been handled by your internal responder team, as well as emergency services, you may go to the gear wheel at the top left-hand corner of your screen, tap it, and then at the bottom right-hand corner, you can clear the alerts. Active Defender is also equipped with a drill mode, allowing your campus to conduct multiple drills, focusing on both the efficiency and efficacy of those drills under real life situations. Remember, the more you practice, the more proficient you will become in keeping your school safe. Now, before we conclude, I mentioned I will go over the different alerts at the bottom of your screen. Starting from left to right, you have the fist bump alert, which is altercation or fighting. Then you have medical, then fire, natural disaster, and active shooter alerts. Now, by swiping from right to left, you are able to open up another panel of alerts, which would have cleanup, missing person, biohazard, evacuation, or a campus-defined alert, which would be the exclamation mark. We also have two other alerts, such as soft lockdown, as well as a bomb threat alert. The soft lockdown alert allows 911 services to place your school on a soft lockdown or secure alert, defining that there is a threat outside your campus. And that will conclude this training video on how to report an emergency using Active Defender. And as always, thank you for being the Active Defender your school needs.